for this tutorial, this is the image I'm going to use. Uh, I like this image because it's a very large image. I went and found Ray online. I looked for wallpaper images. They're a little bit bigger. So I know I've got a lot of information to work with. But I don't want quite so much information. This is horizontal. I really want something portrait. I want to be close in on her face. That's what's important to me for this. So first, I'm going to go up to my crop tool. Now, it's probably set at a default of original ratio. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change it to 4 by 5. And if I don't have that option, I can also just go in here and change these numbers, 8 by 10. And if you know about simplifying fractions, you will know that that's the equivalent of 4, and five, four by 5. If I, again, I want to get a little tighter, so I'm just going to grab a corner and move it in. I know for a fact that this particular image has a weird white outline at the top, so I'm going to get rid of that. And once I'm happy with the crop, uh, a little bit tighter, I think. Great. I'm going to go ahead and click Enter, and that will apply, should apply, my crop. There we go. So this is the picture I have. Next, I want to delineate half of the image. The reason being half of this I'm going to cover with her quote. To do that, I need to have my rulers showing. These are my rulers along the top and side. You'll see that it looks like a ruler. If I don't have them, I can go up to View and Rulers. Rulers should be checked. If Rulers isn't checked, click on it so the check appears. To create a guideline that's very similar to Illustrator, but what you're going to do is you're going to click hold and drag from the ruler. So I'm going to click hold on the ruler with my move tool and drag across and this will give me a guideline. When I let go it's going to turn cyan. Now I could try to be very particular and get it exactly in the center but I just want it to, for this particular one, be visually centered. I'll move it a little bit. There. So your file should look like mine at this 